Sustainable Flow and Yield. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 560. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. Hey everyone, it's Jay again, and this is our December 11th, 2023 edition of our weekly progress update. Today I want to talk about sustainable flow and yield, which sounds like a really esoteric, uh, possibly confusing term, but it's really not. You know, if you look at the way that we're living right now, our flow and our yield are not sustainable. Our flow is our way of life and our production methodologies and the interconnectedness of everything that we are doing right now. And our yield is the result of that. Like, what is it that we're producing through the experience of being human beings on this planet? How is it impacting our one shared planet, our one shared environment? Because there, there is no planet B, you know? So, and how is it that our, our, our yield the results of us living here is impacting all that. And how is it impacting our lives? And objectively, uh, it's poisoning our air, it's poisoning our water, we're poisoning our food, we're living in environments with toxic materials, and we are, most people uh, are not living the fulfilled lives that they like, they're not experiencing the level of growth that they like, most people are not super thrilled with the education models that their kids are experiencing, they know that there's room for, massive room for improvement there, most people recognize that our economic models really are not meeting the needs of the majority of humanity and even meeting the needs of most people probably watching this video. Video. And so, <clears throat> yeah, sustainable flow and yield has some room for improvement, a lot of room for improvement. And so one community is looking at sustainable flow and yield, and we're asking ourselves, like, how can we create sustainable flow in all aspects of what it is that we're doing to generate a sustainable yield that will benefit all people in life on this planet? And the answer is what you see happening in the background of this video. We are open sourcing and we're free sharing all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself plans for creating an outstanding life built on free shared, grassroots implementable plans to build sustainable teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs designed to achieve the necessary critical mass for exponential growth by making them easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough by bringing together people with shared values and interests to demonstrate a way of living that is better than the way that most people are living right now so that the idea will spread on its own. To demonstrate that sustainable flow on the microcosm level, which is within the teacher demonstration hubs, within the communities, villages, and sustainable teacher demonstration hubs, so that it can be demonstrated on the macro level of global sustainable flow by working in cooperation and collaboration with other organizations around the world to create even more open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions, with that being the yield, the yield being ultimately sustainable products, you know, designed to last as long as possible with replaceable parts, the ultimate yield being a more a more enriching and holistic way of life that better supports the human soul and supports and regenerates ecosystems and gives more than it takes <clears throat> and creating ultimately a sustainable world for all of us. All built on handy plans for replication of sustainable approaches to food, energy, housing, what we call highest good approaches to fulfilled living, education, economics, and stewardship, managing all of it, and putting all these components together in teacher demonstration hubs, teaching people how to build additional teacher demonstration hubs around the world. So not just giving a person a fish, not teaching a person a fish, but teaching teachers how to teach 
fishing. And in this analogy, fishing is radical sustainability designed to teach others how to create radical sustainability so that each teacher demonstration hub can replicate itself, can evolve and adapt to the environments that it's in and creating more and more open source tools, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions so that um, we can have the step-by-step -step plans and guides necessary to transform our, our civilization into a sustainable one and to demonstrate sustainable flow and yield in all aspects of the human experience. To reach that critical mass and that tipping point of participation such that we positively touch the lives of every person and thing on this planet by moving the entire planet in the direction of sustainability and creating enough teacher demonstration hubs, communities, villages, and cities such that anybody who wants to live this way can either join one or has all the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and plans to bring together a group of people that they resonate with and create their own version of it taking the individual components, the pieces that they like the most and not using the other ones and creating their own version of radical sustainability, but really built on ethical and sustainable living because it saves money, it saves time, it saves energy, and it just makes more sense than the alternative. You know, just like cooperation and collaboration makes more sense than the everyone for themselves paradigm. And so we're applying this philosophy to all aspects of living and open sourcing and free sharing it so anybody who wants to participate can. So if this is exciting to you, uh, if you'd like a weekly dose of positivity and you'd like to follow our progress as we create this, all the open source plans to be able to create a self-replicating model capable of, not just capable, that will transform our planet into a sustainable one within our lifetime, visit our website and subscribe to our weekly progress updates. You get one email a week and a weekly dose of positivity with these topics talking about how we're doing that. And you can see exactly what it is that our all volunteer team is accomplishing. And if you'd like to see exactly what it is that we did for the last week, visit our written blog, which will always be linked in those weekly progress updates. And if you'd like to see all the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and results of our over 900 contributors so far, volunteer contributors, over 300,000 hours of research and development visit our website. It is extensive and deep. It goes deep and it's going deeper and deeper. You know, every week we're adding to that and you can see that in a written blog, see exactly what it is that we're doing, what we're developing, the software that we're developing for managing all this and for managing the global teams, the collaboration, cooperation, open sourcing, all the details, even better. All these things that we're doing, you can see all this on our weekly progress update blog and throughout our website. And um, if you'd like to help out, you can visit our helping page. If you'd like the easiest way to help out, you can like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you would like to stick around for a couple more minutes, you'll see all the major components of our project with bullet points on each one of those. But uh, sustainable flow and yield, it's not really that complex. It's not really that confusing. Uh, it definitely makes sense to be sustainable instead of unsustainable. Think about if I talked about unsustainable flow and yield, how ridiculous would that be? And that's how we're living right now what are we doing so we have the option to do better and uh one community is creating a solution for that so with that said thanks for watching stick around for a couple more minutes and until next week we will of course keep on keeping on with our sustainable flow and yield plans thank you the one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable sustainable do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. 
The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.